That's not it. That's the mailbox. An artifice's appeal. A parcel arrives for you from the Exodar, bearing the seal of the Grand Artificer. You open the small box and find a smooth hexagonal crystal about the size of your palm. When you touch it, a holographic message flashes to life in the air above it. In the message, Grand Artificer Ramu Ramul instructs you to I love Ramul. <laughs> instructs you to come to the Exodar at your earliest convenience. Meet Grand Artificer Ramul in the Exodar. Hello! Hey, is this hologem still muted? Ah, no. Good, good. When you receive this champion, come to the Exodar, swiftly. I need your help on a special project. I love Ramud. <laughs> All right. Exodar. Um. Is it bad that I'm a Jernai and can't remember how to get to the Exodar? I'm just trying to remember, is it... It's not through Darnassus. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that if it's not in the Mage Tower, I know there's one in Boralus. So I could always just go take the Boralus uh, portal and go in the same one. I just forget if there is one or if I have to do that. You'd think I wasn't in Stormwind before. I'm like, where am I going? <laughs> I've never been to Stormwind, have I? My pets get here before me. Alright. I'm looking for a blue thing. None of that looks like the XLR. <laughs> Sorry if I'm going talking in these strange, vaguely Eastern European but not quite accent of, uh, the XLR, uh, of Jedi. No flying here. Ah, remove her there. I can have a reach right now. Oh, this shows special action for the beam out. <laughs> I love this mount so much. Um, if you don't know what the bee is doing, uh, I know enough about bees to tell you that um, it's signaling to the other members of the hive where nectar can be found. It's a way of communication. I don't think they've quite figured out what the dance moves mean, but yeah, bees communicate with there each other. There you are, champion. Hey, I thought perhaps the hologem I sent did not have enough charge. Come, speak with me. My apologies for bringing you here on such short notice, Duala. But your help right now would be most appreciated. I have found myself with many surprise deadlines. Surprise and deadlines are not words I like together in the same sentence. The windy car is at your disposal. Reviving tradition. The prophet wished to personally ask. You see the Vinda car, sorry. We're not on the Vinda car, Ramul. Are you confused? <laughs> We're on the X with R. Reviving. He's probably left over from, from, from Vincent. 
reviving tradition. The prophet wished to personally ask for your help with the Tishamat. But since he is working elsewhere, I ask you first to jumpstart our task. My colleague and I have been working on a special project. And since the prophet has declared today the Tishmat, you are not valid at the celebration. For this, I need the emitter, but it needs an overhaul. We only have time for hot, for hot wiring. <laughs> Get some filament and a soldering tool from the crates nearby, Dwala. Then maybe I can wire it to an array. Help Ramul finish repeating the holographic emitter. Light zone. We were you not informed of the occasion? The prophet has declared we celebrate the Tishabot today. I really don't want to disappoint Vader. You might recall, the Tishamat was a yearly sacrament on Argus. A time to reflect on the burdens of your past, learn from them, and commit to a path forward. I lend you my strength. May the Legion fall before you. And Amur, we've... we've... That was the Legion. It's a whole it has thing. not been celebrated in many years. But the Prophet feels strongly that tradition must be revived. And that now is the correct time to do it. Oh, I get multiple questions. Where is the Prophet? Prophet Velen is, uh... Occupied at the moment. He's taking care of a very small mission that he wanted to attend to personally. Nothing to worry about. He assured me that he would be back in time for the ceremony. Now I have a feeling I have to go rescue Villain. Why did we abandon the Tishmat for so long? The same reason many of our ancient traditions were abandoned. Constantly being on the run from the Legion left little time to consider anything but survival. Tomorrow was not guaranteed, so yesterday might as well so yesterday might as well not exist. Ah, but all that has changed now. What could be more exciting? Okay. Say, so, well, the circumstances are a bit more stressful than I would like. It's refreshing to work on something other than artillery for once. Quest. Ten of the materials drop. Our project is fitting for the Tishamat. That is why Velen has asked us to present it to everyone at the celebration. But we will present nothing if the emitter is not fixed. Connect the Arcanite crystal arrays. Perhaps then it will power up. I guess you have to do it in a certain order. Like, which apparently is not left to right. I don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I... Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, good. The emitter ah, is functional. Now, we just need the presentation and its presenter. Our time is now, hero. Mm. 
May the Legion fall before you. The Windy Car is at your disposal. May the Legion fall before you. We will endure. Latanya can be as stubborn as a talbuck in the mud, but do not let her turn you away. Go swiftly. Use my hologem if you need. Speak with me. The Windy Car is at your disposal. If you are here to interrupt me, be advised that I have an arc welder and zero patience. Like her already.
Yes, yes, Ark non poros. I'm busy. What do you want? Quest. The removal needs you to bring your schematics to Exodar and present them at the Tishma. Leaving so soon? As I told Ramul, the schematics are ready. But if he is waiting for me at the Exodar, he can keep waiting. My work is here, in Shatrav. I will not put it on hold to attend some archaic holiday. Ugh, I just had it. Another good idea down the drain for the sake of pleasantries. I love her. I have a data crystal prepared. Schematics are on it. My apprentice can find it for you. I have no time to leave Shatter. Perhaps we can chat later. My schematics speak for themselves. Each calculation has been verified. It is respectful of all building codes. I even include a layout of the channels that the power grid must follow. Ramul knows the project. He already signed off on everything. He can explain it to the masses himself. I do not need to waste my valuable time traveling to the Exodar for this ridiculous holiday. My apprentice will give you the schematics on the data crystal. Take it and leave. Speak to Barun. Perhaps he knows a way to convince Atan Atania to leave Shatra. One, get the crystal from Beirun, then get out of my workshop. The title High Artificer means I am very busy. Why are you still here? Beirun is distracting enough without someone locking about. Leaving so soon? Yes, yes, Ark non poros. Want a better future? You have to create it first. I'm just listening to the other dialogue she has. Ugh, I just had it. Another good idea down the drain for the sake of pleasantries. She is great. I love her already. She's great. Someday, I hope my research helps my people. Ah, Princess Barun. Barun leans in and lowers his voice. Ramul sent Tanya many messages about the Tishma. They usually have a good relationship, but she ignored them. And has been very annoyed with and he has been very annoyed ever since. But well, more annoyed than usual. She claims the travel time to Exodar cuts into her workload, but I think it's really something to do with the Tishma. Listening her workload should at least uh, cheer her up, yes? I know she has a Dranite shipment coming into the city, but it's late. Maybe you could track it down. Perhaps then she would have time to travel to the Exodar. I'll try to locate the Dranite ship. You are it's worth a try. Though, if the Tishamat is what is putting her in a bad mood, it might not work. Arcanon Poros, good fortune and hello. Stay safe, Dionys Aka. Hi. The title High Artificer means I <laughs> am very busy. I thought I'd check. All right. I'm pretty sure I did get her. I'm just checking briefly to see 
I forget how much of Burning Crusade she did, if any. <laughs> ah, she spent some time there. She... She's honored with the Eldor, at least. But apparently... Uh, I didn't make my age and I spend much time here. Uh, maybe I'll... I think I have signets and stuff, but I don't have an... I have tons of the rings. I don't have tons of the, uh... Like, I have the scryer rep. I don't have the tokens. I don't have the elder rep tokens. Or at least I don't have as many. Nearly as many. It's the time walking I got a whole bunch in. Alright. This looks like it might be a shipment. Let's check. Frazzled? Frazzled Talbuk. Hey you! Lend us a hand? Our cargo went haywire and knocked crates off our wagon. Nether Storm Draenite is the worst. We should have reinforced the crates. Shoot. <laughs> I don't have my pets out. I'm trying not to be intrusive, and I'm like, ah. Okay, they went down fast enough. Thank you. We will handle the crates. You can take those Dranite fragments to the Crystal Smiths. I feel like I should build her rep with the Eldor, honestly. If you are in need of a, a crystal smithing, I was like, if you are in need of a good crystal smithing, if you are in need of crystal smithing services, I am not sure we have time for any new orders. But I'll see what I can do. The artificers have been keeping us very, very, have been keeping us very busy lately. Recently, God, I'm, I'm adding words now. The artificers have been keeping us very busy recently. What is the diff? I'm gonna, yeah. I'm glad I got all these other questions I could ask. Um, what is the difference between Crystal Smith and an Artificer? Artificer. Artificer. Ah, interested in the trade, are you? Crystal Smiths process raw crystals into materials that artificers can use. Typically, this means removing impurities, reforging energy channels, cutting to size, and faceting based on intended use. Artificers then assemble these materials into whatever they might be bending. As a jewel crafter, I can appreciate this conversation. Um, she's my jewel crafter. <laughs> why don't artificers do that work themselves? Why, why does not every why does not every painter make their own paints? Some might prefer to, but they are different skills, and the light calls us to different paths. Here is some of the high Artificer's Dranite Order. The rest is on the way. Remember. Ah! The lost shipment! Tell the High Artificer we will process it after the Tishomat. We are closing for the holiday. The Naru have not forgotten us. Safe journey. I was confused for a second. It's really quest givers dismount, please. One day. Ugh, I just had it. Another good idea down the drain for the sake of pleasantries. 
gonna be mad at me. I took your dryad shipment to the crystal smiths. Here are your completed work orders. Uh, you! If I needed help, I would have asked for it. My work is very precise. I don't need a clumsy novice's hands in it. Berun, get the crystal. You, take it to Ramul. Tell him I have my reasons for not attending the Tishamat. <sighs> yes, High Artificer. Come, champion. I will get the crystal for you. She's not talking to me, or is this a tr She's just not responding. <laughs> just- she ref I don't know if it's not letting me click on her, or- Perhaps we can chat later. All It'd right. be an honor to one day be a high artificer. Bedouin. Hey, Bedouin. I like you, Bedouin. We will do what we can for Natania. Continue. I should get back to work. Hmm, it was worth a try. It sometimes would be difficult to get it. Get her to, it will be difficult to get her to the tissue hut, but I have another idea. Stay safe, Dionys Aka. You're gonna make us mad at us, Berun, but let's hear it. Berun whispers to you, There are ways. I'm sure you know for the Draenei to speak to the dead. What? You're going right to speaking to the dead, Berun. No middle ground. Okay. There are ways, I'm sure you know, for the Draenei to speak to the dead. It's not the same as having a loved one back, but... Hattoru's ashes were taken to Akundu... Ankadel. Akundu? <laughs> I'm just saying it should not be your second option. <laughs> After helping, helping do a chore. Okay, the chore didn't work. Let's go speak to the dead. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Atuna's ashes were taken to. I will never learn how to say this properly, but maybe they'll say it in the game and then I'll try to remember it. Algundun. Uh, after the soul priests reclaimed the temple, maybe they might know a way to help Atanya with her gloss. Speak to the soul priest at Algundun. Or Akendown. He's cutting out unnecessary steps. <laughs> you are leaving, but I, I didn't tell- I was afraid of this. It's not her work, it's- It's the Tishamat itself. The Tishamat is a time of remembrance, and of letting go of the past. <sighs> she lost her father, Exar Kataru, in the siege. Speaking of him saddens and angers her. Atanya may not be ready for the rituals of the Tishamat, but maybe we can help her. Voice sounds familiar. He's like, look, we have places to go. My son. I'm almost certain he, he is not credited anywhere. But anyway. Where am I going? Oh, I'll think it. I'm just gonna go here for a second because... Barun. Arcanon Poros, good fortune and hello. It'd be an honor to one day be a high artificer. Sounds familiar, but I can't place it. Um I know what I want to check because they were supposed they supposedly fixed it. I don't know. But there's no way to find out. There's there's not going to be any credit for him. 
anywhere. He sounds a little bit like German, yeah. But I can't, I can't place, like, my brain knows it, but I can't recognize it. Supposedly, he's the proper size now, but let's see. Does he seem like the proper? I think he is. I think he is. He did not do that before. Did they actually make him better? But I, I want the howling back. Liz! I want the howling back. He went, oh, woo, woo. I want the howling woo, woo back. You can give it to. Okay. The pouncy pouncy's cute. But I do want that. I wish the howl. They didn't take the howling away. Glad I have footage of the howling. Alright. Let's, let's, let's go. <laughs> there you go. Looks like Taiwan's the proper size. They took away his howling. That makes me happy. I've been doing this this way. I remember. <laughs> Apparently I haven't visited it on this on her. I'm pretty I think my shaman may have spent more time in uh maybe. I'm just looking at what's going on. Oh. There are people here. Among the wise. May the light embrace you. Did you hear that? The music of Dore. When I, when I first heard its sweet melody return to Akundun, I wept. We have worked hard to restore our holy temples here. And these small moments remind me why it's worth it. The world is ephemeral. That which is loved will never know true death. Be kind to those less fortunate. Listen, the blinding light. So I feel a little bad because I unfortunately don't know much or remember much about this part of Burning Crusade, but I know that it's probably making a ton of references to to key figures around at that time. I mean, I know the what the reason why we're going to go talk to the dead that I'm aware of, but I was like. Was that something I did in the game, or...? <laughs> but I also don't want to miss anything. I mean, I do have another Draenei to go to do this on, but... It doesn't look like I can click on anything else, so we'll, we're just going to talk to... Talk to... over here. Soul Tender Nimiron. You bring news? I apologize. We were in the middle of a soul binding ritual. There is much to be done for the spirits in our care before the voyage to Exodar to answer the prophet's call to the Tishma. Is there something that requires your urgent attention? Other Okanus abandoned after the war? Not entirely. Some of us, some of us hid from the orcs here. 
after the invaders were driven from its sacred halls, we began to slow begin the slow work of repairing the damage that the Shadow Council did to Alphandun. The dead deserve the rest that Alphandun promised them. The orcs will not have taken that from them, nor from them others who will one day join them. Are dead or still being interred here? Some. Those who died in Shathrath were cremated after the city was reclaimed. Slowly we have been relocating their ashes to Alphandun and giving their souls the rights they were denied. Eventually, the same will be done for those who yet languish in the path of glory. Oof. Nomoron, that I... Don't know what the path of glory is. Um... One of the most recent references to in-game is... Uh... Um... Uh, Saurfang um, mentions it to I think he's going to Anduin when he mentions it. Um, they, that they call it the Path of Glory. It's in Okay, I'll get back we to that in a endure. second. It's this air well, I don't have my cursor on. But if you look at where Hellfile Peninsula is a dark portal, there's this path here. If you look at the ground, and I'm sure if you spent any time here in Hellfire Peninsula, you'll see that the ground is covered in bones. Those are the remains of Draenei that were sacrificed to create the portal to invade Ezra. So that's what he's referring to. And it's Ora a little detail. Mos. Um. Okay. Thought I'm going to spend it more. Our dead is still being interred here. At the invasion of the... Okay. Not entirely. Some of, some of us hid, in, hid from the orcs here. After the invaders were driven from its sacred halls, we began the slow work of repairing the damage that the Shadow Council did to Alphabet. The dead deserve the rest that Okundum promised them. The Yorks will not have taken that from them, nor from their, nor from the others who will one day join them. Our dead are still being interred here. Some. Those that died in Shathrath were cremated at the city was reclaimed. Slowly, we have been relocating their ashes to Okundum and giving their souls the rights they were denied. Eventually, the same will be done for those who, who yet languish in the path of glory. Niran's face twists into a grimace and hardens with determination. I want to talk about something else. There was another option here. Um, I thought Okundu was abandoned after the war. Oh. Aren't dead still being interred here? I want to talk about something else. Okay, that was the option. Um, what are you doing with these vigilants? When Alkandu was destroyed, most of those housed here were torn to shreds. Many who survived succumbed to madness. Yet some were not so far gone that they could not be saved. We knew that binding souls to vigilance office had a calming effect, not unlike swaddling a child. The weight of a physical body seems to ground their emotions. We keep them in the vigilance only temporarily, but it is a, sprint, it is a splint for a broken bone while the limb heals. Where do you get vigilance from? Asking the important questions. Ah! High artificer, high artificer, Atania. Manufactures them for us in Chathrath. We are aware it is not a speciality, but she insisted on making them herself. Okay, quest, finally. <laughs> I Artificer Artania will not attend the Tishmahat because she still mourns her father. Can you help her? Tanya? Ah, so it's finally time. This is a matter you should discuss with our Exarch. Your Exarch? Never back down. Thank you, Nimeran. 
I take it you can see me now, champion? Come, speak with me. So I want to put a go. That's Manadar. Mano Ekta, my friend. The dead speak to those who listen. An old wound. It's good to have visitors. The honored dead here are well cared for, but not many travel to commune with them. Their deaths can be a painful reminder of what the Draenei have endured. There is no turning back now. Lingering scars. I believe we may be able to help. Perhaps you could aid me first. When we received word that the Tishmat was upon us. Sorry, it takes me every time to try to say Tishmat. Um, it's probably just Tishmat. And I'm trying to like do the two A's and anyway. Um, oh, I forgot. This is a PvP zone. <laughs> so you have to claim that. <laughs> when we received word that the Tishmat, T Tishmat, Tishmat, Tishamat, Tishamat, when we received word that the Tishamat was upon us, we hurried to prepare our most tortured spirits for the journey to the Exodar. The celebration sacraments may help them rest peacefully. However, they must consent to being moved, so we must commune with and soothe them first. Will you help calm these spirits? Afterward, I will take you to where Hataru is entombed and give you what you seek. Help Exdar Maladar commune and soon the sp commune, the commune and soothe the spirits of the dead. They're gonna attack me, aren't they? Never hesitate to do what is right. Meet me in the upper reaches. We will commune with the spirits there to prepare them for the journey. I. I can take this, so. This is the tomb of Exarch Larohir, the Prophet's general. We will commune with him first. Not that I suspect anything's gonna go wrong, but... <laughs> I can hear the souls of the dead. Although it was many years ago, I remember what you did for, for me, Dwala. I guess I did do that on her. I was lost, angry, no. I was furious. I could not see a path forward from what had happened to us. I clung to the past so hard it suffocated me. You brought me rest. I can never repay that debt. Thank you, Delilah. Why do only these souls need to be taken to the Tishmat? So that's... Hmm. I have to look up what exactly... I remember Maladar, but I don't remember exactly, unless she got it time walking doing the dungeon, because that's possible. That's not even, that's not even the rotation now. Anyway. Why do only these souls need to be taken to the Tishamat? An Argus. It was common to perform the sacrament of Tishamat on behalf of the departed souls to help them move on. These three souls are volatile, where they show promise in having trouble fully separating them from their attachments. With the revival of Tishamat, we hope this will be the key to helping them. Tradition binds my people. Aha! He defended Shatrath until his dying breath. Spirits seek his protection still. Alas, we must return them to rest. He 
gives his consent, seal the urn with the mark of Dore. May the Tishamat relieve Laro here of the guilt he feels at not saving all of Shatrath. Let us commune now with Exarch Kelios, the first Vindicator and Bastion of Keribor. I would forfeit my own soul to protect my people. Remember. Don't he fought the darkness there. But it followed him in death. Light his tomb, so that he may see once more. Take care. The smaller the flame, the more swiftly it burns out. Kalios has agreed to the Tishamat. Seal his urn. That one was a little May bit of a Kalios puzzle. Kalios no longer fear the darkness, and the light ease his pain. So that one was a little bit of a puzzle. Um, I, just, I didn't read what this said, but it looked like it's, it was one of those... Don't do this unless you really want to. A puzzle is fairly simple. He, he clues you in. Um, smaller candles burn out fast, so basically light them from largest to smallest so that you can get them all lit at the same time. That, that's it. Restelan, Larohir's mentor. His is a bloody story of betrayal. Let us commune with him now. This is where I'm gonna have to fight stuff, I can tell already. Also, Restelan sounds very familiar to me, so. He unwittingly gave the orcs the weapon that destroyed him, and Telmor. We must dispel the shades of his guilt. It is a miracle that his soul survived those ravages. He consents. Please. Seal his urn. We must preserve the sanctity of the fallen. There is no turning back now. It may take many Tishmats before Restalan can fully rest. But I will help him no matter what. The dead speak to those who listen. Tradition binds my people. Thank you for what you have done, Duarte. Moving a spirit's remains can disturb them greatly. So they must be calmed as much as possible, so the journey can be made safely. Remember. Those many years ago are... Okay, it's the same thing. <laughs> Clearly. Never hesitate to do what is right. Unfortunately, 
Not all of the fallen entombed here in Oakenville suffer the same uh, the same these three do. Some ease gracefully into death like soil settling after a rainfall. Exocataro is one such soul. Thanks be to the light that he rests easy. Come, I will show you his tomb. Music Exarch, Hataru's tomb, and then return to Tanya and Shafra. Tradition binds my people. Thank you for your help, champion. The tomb of Exarch Hataru is just across the way. Follow me. Exarch Hataru has accepted his life, his death, his triumphs, and his mistakes. Approach him and make your request. I would forfeit my own soul to protect my people. The urn is covered in a fine layer of dust. It appears to have been undisturbed for many years. Quest. I think your daughter Atania still grieves for you. You want me to take your stuff? I sense that Exarch Hataru's only regret is leaving his daughter behind. Taking the Exarch's gift back to his daughter may bring them both peace. Wow. Can I take the staff? <laughs> Never mind. Let's go back to Shathra. I took a screenshot oh, of the time. For I'm... light's oh. sake, why are you back? <laughs> Someday, I hope my research helps my people. I know Atania has been helping me. Get Aku now that we build, so hopefully they are willing to help. What else do you know about her father? I probably should have asked that before I left, right? Ataro was a grand officer before Haramul. Ramul! Which means he was a leader of all other artificers. He created the plans for Shathrath and overstarted construction, as well as Karabor and the other great temples. It was amazing! I have all of his lectures, my halogen. Well, all the ones that survived, at least. I should get back to work. Yes, yes, Arcanon Poros. Atania glares at you tiredly. If you say one more thing about the Tish, <laughs> you'll wake up at the bottom of Aldorais with my hoof print in your back. <laughs> Offer the artificing lens. Artificing? Yes, artificing lens to her. I spoke to your father. He wanted you to have this. Ah! What is wrong with you? I tell you to leave, and instead you rob my father's grave! Atanya, I sent them to Akendun. Exar Kataru wouldn't want this for you. He would want you to be around your people, and to show them all you've made. Not to stay locked away here. What? I...
The title High Artificer means I am very busy. Adania crosses her arms tightly, not looking at you or Baron. Want a better future? You have to create it first. Aye. For a moment, she looks like she might snatch the lens from you. Instead, she takes it from you gently. Perhaps we can chat later. Moving past. My mother died on a colony planet. My father and I helped each other move past that. And when he died in the siege of Shathrath, watching the walls of his greatest accomplishment crumble to dust, there was no one left for me. So I worked. And now I have the schematics of my own Shathrath. A better Shadrath. Well, Tanya clenches the lens in her fist, then excels in resignation. I'll go to the Exodar, but if Ramul says one word about it, I'll make him eat his sovereign pool. <laughs> Return to Grand Order for Sir Ramul and Exodar. In the Exodar. My father was Draenor's greatest artificer. He lived for Shatrath, and died in it. Sometimes I wondered if I'd end up the same. But I will not. The city I have designed is what this one should have been. What it could have been. I will take the Data Crystal to the Exodar. To the Tishamat. So on my own. I'm, I'm, hope, I'm assuming they're gonna. Oh, here we go. Return to Ramul and Exodar. I'm gonna talk to my friend first. Arcanon Poros, good fortune and hello. Thank you, Thrala. I thought she was going to throw something at you, but that went a lot better than expected. I'm really happy you could help, Atanya. My parents died when my hose was still soft. Natanya has been the closest thing to a family I've ever had. Anyway, I'll clean up here, and then I'll see you at the Tishmat. Tishmat. We'll get to say it by the time I'm done with the quest. Um, hooves soft. If you don't know anything about animals with hooves, they're born, their hooves are soft. Probably, you know, whether, you know, it's, it's a it's a chicken or egg scenario, but um, one would assume that softer hooves are easy during the birth pro process when there's four of them. So, so yeah. Um, apparently that happens in China as well. <laughs> Okay, let me take my crystal back to Ramwood. Dionys Aka. I'm glad you could join us, High Artificer. You have spared me many headaches. <laughs> Let's transfer these schematics before I change my mind. Our time is now, hero. In some ways, getting Atania here was more difficult victory than the fall of Thoros. Thoros. I'm sorry, I'm a bad Draenei. I can't remember the names of any of our places. Um, uh, we know, Thoros was actually, I think, the human. Anyway. <laughs> Levity aside, I am. It, it was the, the the last. It was the final raid. Um, or was it? Yes, yes, yes. It was, wasn't it? Yes. I'm so bad. I'll be with you in a second, Robert. I need to check. May the legion fall before you.
I was right. <laughs> it was a burning. Th it was the seat of power for the uh, Sargeras. I lend you my strength. In some ways, getting a tiny hero was a more difficult victory than the fall of the first. Levity aside, I am glad she is here. I knew that Tishamat would be hard for her. Her father was a great man. We all mourn his passing. This Tishamat is gearing up to be one for our hollow records. Ramul lowers his voice confidingly. Even not one is here. Within the evil on his heroes, demons are brazenly bold. Hey. I will lead my people through any darkness. Velen awaits us back in blood mist. Come, we put an end to this. Emergency efforts. When did you, you and your people arrive? Velen sent a message into Argus some days ago to announce the Tishamat. Ah, I do not control my people. Those who wished to go were free to make that choice. I did not. But then Velen sent another message earlier today requesting my aid here. I considered refusing. But Velen has been gribbly. It's satisfying to see him admit when he cannot solve a problem himself. So, I mean, if you did the, um, the Draenei, uh, Eridor, uh, appearance quest, um, you got to see a little bit of a, little bit of stuff going on there. So this seems like it's continuing, this is taking place after that, perhaps? Well, we'll see. I want to talk about something else. Venon awaits us back in blood mist. Come. Okay. Emergency efforts. I will lead my people through any darkness. Their interactions are great. Um, emergency efforts. Dwala, Velen told me I may find you here. He you needs your assistance. The satyr that infested a nearby island have been ambushing Draenei traveling for the Tishamat. But then I have been attempting to solve the problem quietly. He does not wish to mobilize the Vindicators and alarm his people on a day of the sacrament. But despite our efforts, the attacks have continued. The event may need to be cancelled if we cannot get the demons under control. Come with me so we may end this threat. Use the Argusian mana ray to fly to Blood Mistile, which Chieftain Hatun so now we'll take this man away. We will fly to meet Velen in Blood Mist together. So, like the other Heritage Armor quests, there's a call back to earlier quests. And now we're heading to Blood Mist Isle. So interesting. Because on Blood Mist Isle, you had um the bad blood elves. <laughs> showed up and you had to deal with them I don't think it's going to be the case now but if, if that's what's going on in that zone all right do should I talk to anyone do, uh, Hatun, do you have the this? dark fallen will not give up we will never give up just one check with Ramul with Ramul did he disappear? That's a move. Okay, fine. Let's go. Mm. 
Velen reports that there were at least four satyr attacks on Dranai traveling through Azor Mist since morning. I wish to rally the Vindicators, but Velen does not want to cause panic and darken the Tishamat. <laughs> He wants to quietly drive the satyrs back into blood mist to keep travelers safe. For now. But Velen realized this half measure will not work without assistance. So he called upon me and other recent allies to help. We are experts in the killing of demons, as are you. With your aid, we should accomplish this quickly and quietly. I mean, it is fun to be back This here. corruption caused by the Exodar crash feels strange. Indeed. The nether energies seeping from the ship have made blood mist difficult to cleanse. Well, I was gonna point that Arzal is here, but someone parked their mount on top. Here's Arzal. Now, Joanna, I believe, is the one that went? But I don't remember. It was... I forget who I brought to, uh, to do that quest line. I'm hoping it's her. It may not... No, it was... Shoot. It was the, uh, shaman. <laughs> the air quotes. You can hear the air quotes. I'll Do not be quotes. afraid. Even with the corruption, this land is so alive. There is grass, water, unmarred skies. The air is so clean, it almost hurts to breathe. If any demon threatens this place, I'll be the first to destroy them. What have you and the other penitents been doing? So apparently she knows about it. I may have done it on her too. For the time being, we are aiding the Crookwood and Lightforged on Argus. Few have been allowed to serve the Draenei here in Azeroth. I personally evaluate every penitent and vouch for them on my own life. So it's not so it is not a matter of distrust. Rather, is that we have no desire to distrust the Draenei with our open presence. They are aware of the hand the Prophet has extended to us. That's not a race what we did to them. I want to talk to something. It's not something else. Okay. Wisdom guide your path. So I thought there's Velen. I'm gonna to talk to the. We fight. We survive. I do not like this place. It's too open. Too empty. Not enough places to get your back against. Walk in the shadows of the earth. There's trees and crystals and stuff. Nice. Okay, then. Something is amiss on this world. Oh, that's a player. <laughs> player, you're confusing me. <laughs> um... Emergency efforts. I was hoping to resolve this sudden satyr attacks before I formally announced the Tishima to all. Alas, I am grateful Ramul called you the Exodar early. I assume Hatun has explained the situation to you? Many depend on you. Oh, we've got quests. All right. Without faith, the battle is lost. The Satyr infection we have allowed to fester in blood mist for far too long. Let's try it again. The Satyr infection we have allowed to fester in blood mist for too long. If we can push them back enough, that they no longer pose an immediate threat to Azure Mist during the Tishrat, 
I will see to a more permanent solution afterwards. Be just. Okay, Hatsune, what do you guys Argus say? Argus will always be ours. Beneath the skin. Beware the Legion's wrath. Arzala and I are of the same mind. We must know the strength of these satyrs before we attempt to drive them back with force. Else we may be walking into a fight we cannot finish. I can learn much about my enemies by observing what damage they leave in their wake. The wildlife here w was corrupted by Exodar's lingering energies, but I suspect the demon's presence made it worse. Collect bones from the local wildlife for me. Studying them may give us some clues. Collect eight pitted bones from corrupt wildlife. Our time has come. Oh, Beware the Legion's wrath. Even with corruption, this land is so alive. Okay. Assessing the enemy. Beware of strangers promising strength and power. The Legion may be one entity, but it is vast. The demons that comprise it are as varied as the enumerate wounds they have worlds. Wounds. Wounds, champion. The Legion may be. May, I think I may only be able to get one of these out tonight. Um, it's so fresh and clean. Uh, assessing the enemy. The Legion may be one entity, but it is vast. The demons that comprise it are as varied as the innumerable, innumerable worlds they have conquered. I have have no, but I have had no dealings with Seder. From what the prophet has told me, they seem disorganized, intelligent, certainly, the feral and the malevolence. I am inclined to believe their recent attacks are random. Perhaps, but perhaps not. Bring me the totems. <laughs> this is the quest. I remember collecting totems in Blood Mistyle. Bring me the totems. I, I'm remembering something else, but I'm pretty sure that was the quest. Bring me the totems they have scattered across Blood Mist. I may be able to tell. I may able to. This is a typo. I may able to tell, ascertain what. I think tell should not be there. <laughs> It's tell or ascertain. <laughs> I may be able to ascertain what, if anything, their end goal, goal is. Collect six satyr totems. Why have you allowed these demons to infest this area for this long? We have lacked the time and resources needed to eliminate them. Other threats strained our forces. Their opportunism ends today. I will slaughter each one personally, if needs require it. See, we've got these three working together to deal with a common threat. I will hear you out. Beware of strangers promising strength and power. Interest. Our time has come. Okay, they got nothing. The light you gotta go will kill guide stuff. your way. As all quests lead to the killing of things. The killing and collecting of things. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, really? Level 70, you know? <laughs> oh, I should try to see if I can tame that. Priorities. Well, if the drop rate's bad, it makes it seem exactly like a Burning Crusade quest. <laughs> right. Give me a second. <gasps> it's tameable! <laughs> okay, Petties, I may have to put you away. Because I think I just discovered something. Alright, let me... I'm gonna have to say... I'm gonna have to dismiss you. Do I have enough slots? 
I think I have enough slots. I think I have, yeah, I have max, but I forget what max is because I don't play Hunter that often. I'm a bad hunter. Like, which, where is it? Where, where's my, uh... Where's my call pets? Oh, pet utility. There we go. Um, no, that's not. Um. Shoot. I don't know how to see. Okay, I'm just gonna tame you. But, mother. Okay, I see what the problem's going to be here. <laughs> Yep, okay. No one better. Oh, wait. That's not what I want to do. <laughs> um. Hmm. I don't even know what I just did. <laughs> what went boom? I was trying to tame. There's, where's my tame? Where's my tame pet? Tame beast. Oh, I don't have anything selected. Alright, come for me. Attack me. Okay, good. Um, all right. Does it have the glowy eyeballs? Or is it just a cat? It's got the glowy eyeballs! I honestly think this animal is always here. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a name for my cat. I got a name. Do, 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 rename. Nah. Be a Miss Claw. Miss Claw, Miss Fang. Which sounds better? Miss Claw, Miss Fang. Miss Fang. I need to see what this this pet can do. Uh, oh, turn off growl. Just precautionary. Um, primal rage. Okay, that's our lust. I hear you. Speak. Beneath this Our tree. enemies will suffer as we have. Remember, you are putting them out of their misery. We will never give up. Hatun snaps one of the bones and sniffs the frothing marrow tentatively and frowns. Lesser demons do not corrupt creatures as deeply. Their fell disease can barely spread beneath the skin, much less the bones of the soul. These are no weak imps we are dealing with. Uh oh.
Crow. Walk in the shadows of the earth. Yes? What is it? Even with the corruption, this land is so... Oh, he's saying nothing. Wisdom guide your path. I prefer to know the capabilities of the city for engaging them. Continue. For thousands of years, we hunted our own people. It may take that time and more to be redeemed. Hmm, that's ours. My friend. Ah, curious. These crystals appear similar to the others erupting from blood mist. But their placement on this totem seems deliberate. I'll study them further. With the depth of corruption in these animals, it is not the work of lesser demons. There is a larger threat behind these attacks, then? Yes. These crystals were made into fell spreaders. No satyr could do that. A Manari artificer made them. I know it. The Dark Fallen will not give up. I'm just checking. See if I will here. lead my people through any darkness. For thousands of years, we hunted our own people. It may take that time and more to be redeemed. Decision. I cannot in good conscience gather the Dranai for the Tishamat if we are threatened this close to home. And if one of the Minari is using the Seder to orchestrate these attacks or to distract us from some larger fallow, fell purpose, then they must be booted out immediately. We will divide our efforts to look for signs of the enemy. Arzal will search the northern Seder camp. You Hatun and myself will search the closer camp. Meet Velen and Hatun and Nazivian to search for signs of the Minari presence in the area. So why are we sending what's his name by himself, though? I mean, I'm, I got Velen and Hatun. Seems unfair. Is what I'm you are the instrument, Arzar. Search the Sator camp to the north. Champion. Hatun, come with me and search the camp to the west. Of course. Hatun, take the Stargarite shard. It will guide you towards any fell magic of Manari origin. Stargarite. Uh, if you think it will help, Arzal. But that do we? Okay. <laughs> I can fly. Why am I warning? Oh, no, I can't because. <laughs> ah, I can mount though, at least. Let us begin our search. This bee buds so much. Okay, am, I am being led.
I don't, I don't know why I was like, what's this thing wishing by me? What the hell? It, it's telling me where to go. A cloaking spell. Ugh, cowardly legion tactics. Why did you not see this before, Nerlin? I do not know, but we must destroy it. I had that problem, though, following the comets with the, um... With the, uh... The, uh... Uh... uh the archive thing. Where I was yelling, it's like, what is that thing? What is that noise? It's so annoying. It was telling me where to go, so same principle. Nothing over here. I thought somebody was sending me over here. Fell spreaders were rooting the corruption to blood mist all this time, and you let it run rampant. Why? To protect the Rangari, I pulled them out of blood mist. Their lives were worth more to me. I stand by my decision. You don't have to announce when you're dying, my dude. Aha! Saw you this time. Look, I want to find an equivalent of every time one of the, uh, the, uh, satyrs say that to go, it's, it's not an airport, you don't have to announce your departure. <laughs> Sagarite shard is no longer reacting to energies here. Indeed. We should return it to Arzal at the northern camp. No lift for me? You know there's no flying in this zone. I can't fly. You just leave me here? See what you mean when you say champion. This Sater camp appears abandoned, but the fell resonance is stronger here than anywhere else on the island. We welcome your help. We did not find them, and are responsible. But when we do, they will pay. The we'll light will guide your way. Demons will corrupt areas, not only to claim territory, but to empower themselves. The stronger the corruption, the more power we can draw from them. Like metal being heated by a fire. If I'm correct, a Minari conscripted the Seder to hide their fell spreaders across Budmista for exactly that purpose. Whoever they are, they would be rather powerful by now. Yay! 
Beware of strangers promising strength and power. Does not surprise me that Velen has had deep demons on his doorstep this whole time. But at least it would be dead now. I take much satisfaction in that. Our time has come. Not women are responsible. When we do, they would pay. Be just. Not all who wander are lost. It took a while to register. I was like, I completed the quest. If Atun and Ozel are correct, we may have an opportunity to end this here and now. I will not see it squandered. You yeah, are the instrument it. of change. We fight, we survive. Whoever they are, they will be rather powerful by now at the source. Wisdom guide your path. Can you hear that? Silence? I can hear the buzzing of my mouth. <laughs> the area is empty. Not even the rabid wildlife dare approach the camp. We do not see any immediate cause, but the fell resonance here is overwhelming. I sense it was woven by Manari hands. And I'm being blocked from probing more deeply. Something is being hidden. Must be the cloaking magic Atun reported from the other camp that hinders me. I can spell it, but I cannot guarantee what we will find when we do. Discover the source of the fell concentration in Exerlin and destroy it. It is too quiet here. Be wary of an ambush. Hatun is right. Something is hidden here. And I will reveal it. Do what you must, Arzar. We will follow your lead. Maladeth in Kiel! Maev Rakatiros! More fell spreaders. Buried across the whole island. Hundreds of them. Oh. We must act quickly. Champion, call Romul. We need his aid. Oh. <laughs> I was like, how do I call him? Alright. Yeah, that doesn't look good. That looks bad. Ah, uh, Champion. I'm a little busy right now with the preparations. What do you need? Romul, transport one of our generators to the Champion's location immediately. What? Uh, yes, Prophet. Right away. Calibrating transport. Generator inbound. Sorry, my cat just decided to jump on the table. I think he's trying to tell me. It's like, it's bedtime. You need to go. You need to not jump all over my cables thank you kitty all right where was i something is amiss on this world i expect the satyr will swarm us once we begin to charge the generator tell me when you're ready to begin give me a second many depend on you okay he says for thousands the same of thing. years we hunted our own people it may take that time, and more, to be redeemed. Walk in the shadows of the earth. Not all who wander are lost. Let's do it. Hatun and I will overcharge the generator. The satyr will sense the energy building. Champion, Arzar, hold them off! With pleasure. Corruption! We'll claim you. Corruption! We'll claim you. Tear your flesh! Take 
dramatic. My plans again, Dranai. My magic has claimed this oh, land hello. and will soon claim every last soul in your wrecked city. Is that a lady dreadlock? No, 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 no. It's an Eridar. No, no. This threat was beyond what I expected to find here. But it could not stand against us united. With the corruption removed, blood mist will finally begin to heal. As will our people. Together. That was fun. Without faith, the battle is lost. I could not have imagined the threat and blood mist had grown this dangerous. Thank the light that I chose to bring Hatun and Arzalvil. This could not have done this could not have been done without them. Without all of us. What's I gotta say? You are the instrument of change. If Serona's reforms one day I will rip her soul apart myself. Beware of strangers promising strength and power. I, I admit that Velen's plan was serviceable. Our enemies will suffer as we have. We welcome your help. Be just. With Zerona slain once again, Blumness will finally be able to heal. Her influence was no doubt. In oh, okay. I I mean, now remember. It's, a, it, it's hard getting back to the last time. They will heal. Her influence was no doubt anchoring the corruption to the land. There's another reason to celebrate today. But it's not the true reason I called Hatun and Arzal to Azeroth. I, have the, I would have them attend the Tishmat. Tishmat. With us. The sacrament asks us to reflect on the past and commit to a better future. The unity of our efforts epitomize that. I will bring them to the Exodar. Please join us when you are ready. Meet with Prophet Velen in the Exodar. The light will guide your- Now, truthfully, I did not invite you to Azeroth merely for this mission, but for the Tishamat as well. The Tishamat? I... thank you. But surely my presence would cast a shadow over the sacrament. The first sacrament of Tishamat asks us to reflect on the shadows of our past. I will make sure you feel welcome. As you wish, Prophet. Hatun, this may seem to you a hollow gesture. But I would like us to speak. The Tishamat asks, we learn from our mistakes. I will consider it. Let us go. Spare hollow gem. Can I keep the spare hollow gem? <laughs>
It's a party! My cat's staring at my apartment. It's a party! Okay, I like bricks. Remove the quests I'm not doing right now. Please tell me the generator is offline for a good reason. No, actually, do not. I do not want to know. <laughs> is a generator ever offline for a good reason? Yes, yes. Arcanon Poros. Tanya is idly adjusting her artificing lens, but quickly stops when you approach. What? Leaving so soon? It has been a long day without your help. It would have been even longer. Oh, sorry. It has been a very long day. Without your help, it would have been even longer. We will endure. Melon, I'll hit you in a second. I want to see who's here. Yeah, we got every we got everybody out. Okay. Well, these are generic celebrants. Oh, no, I got our blacksmith. Yes, here. To... outsider. Oh, we sell some stuff. Outsider. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> Arcanon Poros. You could hear the explosions and blabbers all the way over here. It was amazing. Dionys Haka. To think that blood mist might actually start to recover the way Azure Mist did. May the light allow me the chance to see it. Blessings upon your family. Apprentice Verun. Thank you again for helping Atania, Tuala. She might still look angry, but I can tell she's enjoying herself a little bit. And I get to tell all the other artificers hear about my research. I should get back to work. May your days be long and your hardships few. I think you can talk to them, but... Know who I'm looking for. I'm looking for, uh. Well, Erenic Stone Speaker, I remember because he factored into my, uh. I was like, I know him. I know that. I know that orange coat or whatever robe. Um. Does my, um. My. Shaman. Had quests with him. Back when. Back when you had to find the totem still. Because I remember he was looking for um, a totem in uh, Azure Mist. We will win this war. We dedicated our lives to exterminating the Burning Legion. But despite all we gained, we have lost so much more. Missed so much more. Someone's got a tie ban. It will be difficult, but many of us would like to no longer stand so far apart from our old kin. We will defeat the Legion! When Vindicator Sorvos! Oh! In darkest night, we still shine with hope. What distances have we have crossed to be here now? What do you think of the penitents? I remain cautious. Their aspirations are not impossible. It is true that I hold High Commander Lothraxian, that's the, the Dreadlord um, Light Lord 
dread. Um, in Caius, in good esteem, despite the sins he once committed. And I have seen the penitents provide aid on Argus as we fight to Persia Legion's lingering infestation. But that is a simple battle. When harder battles come, we will see if their promises are built on stone or sand. And does that Nelson really talk Dionys about? Aka. Well, Velune. I have found my purpose. Velune. To serve others by following Vel Tyr. Oh. Velune is part of the uh, Tyr's Guard. A uh, very recent quest line. So, it's really cool to see her here. Um, I am grateful for the purpose I found with Tyr's Guard. But it's wonderful to be able to come celebrate with my people. May Tyr take your hand. Velone, my my Jedi has not technically not met her yet. <laughs> she has not done any bar she's done barely any quests in Dragonflight. Vindicator Boros. We are agents of the light. The Triumvirate has a sign has been assigned to escort Arzal and the other penitents during the Tishimat. Although I trust the Prophet's judgment, I had the same apprehensions as the others when we quietly informed some time ago when we were quietly informed some time ago. Perhaps I will always have those apprehensions. For now, I will accept that the past might not be their future. They will be given a chance to prove it. May the light protect you. Do hey, not be afraid. I am thankful for the Vindicator's presence. It appears to comfort the others, and Boros has offered to guide me around Azrimist after the Tishamat has concluded. He smiles very faintly. I suspect it is an order from the Prophet, but I will not refuse the gift, however unmerited. Wisdom guide your path. I'm gonna have to do. I, I I don't. There's not a ton here, but I don't want to miss anyone. Because apparently I missed the flower picker clan in the orc heritage armor quest, and um, I'm sad about that. The best Jedi is there too. Oh. Is Tapatos here? Tell me Tapatos is Tapatos is here. <laughs> I don't know if I found anyone yet. I'm trying to make sure I find everyone. May the light embrace you. Look at the size of these crystals. And the Dren I here have just left them like this. I'm going to have to put in a bid to break these down right away. Be well. Don't tell you your eyes off my crystals. I've already spoken to my Blessings daughter. upon you. Okay, yeah. Favor the road, travel by few. Okay, let's go. I don't think I've been over here yet. No, I think these folks are not attending the party. I think they're stuck in the past. <laughs> The 
no stranger. My people were treated like outsiders, and so we chose to be outsiders. We embraced our isolation and grew stronger because of it. Had the Ankars tell a okay, tell a like it. They are they are. Respected our strained threats addressed us as equals. Perhaps we could have spoken. Instead, they treated us like wayward town folk, needing to be brought back to the field. But I reasoned it was ignorance and not malice that fueled them. They were ascetics for centuries. To say their social skills are lacking would be kind. I am not one to be stung twice, but since I have not, I have been asked, here is an equal, I will hear them out. Peace for you. Anaria Shola. That's what I thought. Hygienic is perfectly serviceable. Thanks to Jadar, I have swiftly, swiftly learned every curse word in your language and then some. What else could possibly be needed? We will have justice. Each day is a blessing. I told Azarek everyone he would be speaking Janik, but he insisted on following me here anyway. Do you know how many favors I had to pull with the peacekeepers? May your days be long and your hardships few. to see kids milling about. Spartus! The only one needs something of Tepartos? Yes! <laughs> Yay! Tepartos is ready! <laughs> danger! Ha! Tepartos scoffs at danger! Right be with you, friend. Tepartos? The only one is not trying to take advantage of Tepardos' good nature, are you? Sure, Tepardos has read books. Books with few words and many pictures, but they still count. List of things Tepardos does not like. Snakes, mean children, snakes, dark caves, snakes, and puny ones who pester Tepardos. They appear to have all fallen for my act. I find it extraordinary that they believe I could be so simple-minded as to... Wait, you, you mean they can hear me? I... Uh... Tepartos! <laughs> <laughs> Two pair of toes. 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 Tepartos! 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 Tepartos greets puny one! Tepartos? Tepartos! Okay, I, I think I've got all of them. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tepartos! Tepartos is ready! <laughs> Tepartos! Alright. I'm happy. May the light embrace you. <laughs> Puny one needs something of Tepartos? Woo! <laughs> Don't cheer me back! Alright. Those are the, the... I didn't remember them. Okay, I don't think there's anything going on over there that's... that I need to... Everybody's at the party, right? I don't want to miss anybody. 
But yeah, these are the um, furbog that are an atremist. Arcanon Poros. You have become stronger than I could have ever imagined. Voila. I am proud of you. I am proud of you too. I don't know that it was weird. That was awkward. Good it's health. Party. Long life. Alright. Promised one, it is good to see you yet prosper. I and mean, I know she did those quests. Still find the younger. Aww. So it's now. Alright, I think I was going to go around. The Naru have not forgotten us. Just making sure. Yeah. No one's hiding in the shop. What do you need, stranger? It was about. It was never about going home. It was about going back to a life. That I hungered for. A life that consumed me. A life that no longer existed. But I do. I still exist. And after I set foot in Chathrat again, no longer the same man, no longer the same home, I made a new life. Breaking a gem only reveals new facets. The more thoroughly it is crushed, the more it glitters. The Eredar endure. I am with them. You come back sometime. Greetings. I have never known a life where the Draenei have not been a fractured people. It is good to see those wounds finally healing. Are, are you an orc? Only half. I was raised among the Draenei. Some of us call ourselves Oceani. The people of spirit. I wish my parents had survived to see this. This too shall pass. Interesting. Like, I'm trying to remember if I'm missing, like, a, a, a storyline that actually deals with that. Or if that's a revelation now that we've got Half orcs, half drenites. I mean, we are moving that direction with the uh, the Arathi, um, with elves and humans. Finally, getting half elves. But I don't know if I'm missing something that existed before in the lore, and or if this is new. I'd have to look that up. I feel like there may have been something. But all right. I don't want to miss anyone. Am I back at Velen again? I'm back at Velen. All right. 
Ramul. Come, speak with me. I just want to... May the Legion fall before you. I don't think it went as far out over here as I wanted to. I think I got everyone. So we didn't invite anybody from, uh... We will not fall. The creatures of Argus are as resilient as we are. May I have a morsel? The Legion will pay. It's a morsel hold holder. Order. I greet you. Take caution. He didn't give me any. Is he just ignoring me or is that a bug? Kronakai Christor. We will well, endure. If I'm supposed to get a free Marcel out of this, it's not happening. I just... Mmm... Why can't I remember her name? I don't think anything will happen. But I'm curious to see if it does. Una. Una's the ghost of a giant eye child. Uh, you find out Argus. It's a long quest line. Um. It's a secret in the game. I mean, it's well known. You can look it up on. But anyway, she's going to be with me. Oh, wait. Shoulder Marcel. Okay. Apparently, I have one on my shoulder. There we go. It did work. It's going to be on my shoulder. Awesome. All right. <laughs> See, I almost, I almost never, I almost didn't talk to him. I could, I would have been out a shoulder marcel. Can't have that. What's going on over here? <sighs> yes. Like, get your death tonight, huh? In life, I was a vindicator. The night light can no longer reach me where I now dwell. But I hear its voice like music drifting through the bars of the prison cell. And I know it. Allow me to mourn. Ashes to ashes. May the light embrace you. I see you were able to drag the High Harvest from her workshop at the Elder Rise. The Prophet need not have worried. I would have dragged her here myself had you failed. Ishana smiles kindly, but with a touch of mischief. She had been working on those schematics for ages, and never did ask what they were for. I suppose we shall learn soon enough. Do not lose faith. Just make sure there's no one else to click on. Come on, Nuna. The Naru have not forgotten us. Remember the lessons. No, this is just this is your standard. May I be of service? Favor the road traveled by fumes. Oh. If you can walk, you can fight. It's been a long time since I heard a prayer that was not a battle hymn. I'm reminded of softer times. 
Each demon you slay is one fewer we must face. I don't know if... Probably not. Yeah, these are just trainers. I don't think that- I think it's all at the lower level. Or at least this- it's up one level. <laughs> Did I get everybody? I, sp I spoke to, uh... I will hear you out. Beware of strangers, promising strength. I mean, my one question is, I guess, though it makes sense, they didn't invite anybody from alternate Drenner? You know, you're Elf? Those kids throwing stuff? Got everyone? Wait. The Naru have not forgotten us. Oh, and I think I spoke to the one next to him, not him. It was difficult, but I brought news that Tishimat to every settlement of lost ones across Draenor that I could find. I was not asked to do this, but I felt it was important. I spent several years mediating on my feelings about the Kroku and the Lost Ones. Truthfully, I feared them. Not as one fears a beast, but as one fears the ocean. I could not live there, so it is death and darkness to me. I want to bring everyone in the darkness into the, uh, into the sunlight. But in my fear, I forget there are fish. <laughs> we are part of the same people, but we need not have the same lives. Good health, long life. I'm glad I go around checking everybody. Not everybody's clickable, but I want to at least. I mean, Departo just didn't have a didn't have a dialogue bubble, but you just had to click on him to get your satisfaction. Bartos. Those. All right, I th think I have everybody now. I think my luck is is I will find more on my other Draenei, and they'll be like, ah. Where's Nabundo? Where is Nabundo? Oh. He didn't he didn't die right now.
Hmm. So I need no in a windows. Time may pass, but the dream is eternal. The sands of time are plentiful, but precious. Someone using their aspect statues, yes. The red dragon flight will protect this world. Someone showing off they have all three. I have all three of them too. Yeah, Nabundo should be here. He's like literally in the Exodar. He's a shaman trainer, granted, but he also factored in um Cataclysm. I mean, I can go to one of the other areas, but it's just phase, so. Uh, okay then. No, no, Bundo. Without faith, the battle is lost. It brings me great joy to see Eredar gathered at, together at last. Many depend on you. Burn shared. The Tishamat was once a solitary holiday. Each Eridor would inscribe a stone with a painful memory we carried. We would reflect on what on that memory could teach us, and then commit to moving forward with that wisdom. At last, the stones are dissolved in the flame of reprieve, symbolically removing the weight from our souls. Today, the Tishamat will be celebrated not in solitude, but in community. Gather the stones of those who would trust you with them, then take them to the flame. Collect ten memory stones, create your own memory stone, and then dissolve the stones in the flame of reprieve. The light will guide you. You will serve as our Tishatan, the memory bearer of Tishamat. It is a solemn role. Take this basin and gather our people's memory stones. Take them to the flame of reprieve and lift our burdens. Go to my friend Ramul first. Our time is now, hero. May I take your memory stone to the flame of reprieve? Ramul places a stone in the basin. Eternal progress ever forward. This is what the Order of Artificers was founded on many millennia ago. But each step begins in the soil we have already tread. We will endure. How about you, Ariana? Ugh, Ariana? I just had it. Another good idea down the drain for the sake of pleasantries. But Tanya is idly adjusting her cap. What? May I take your memory stone to the flame of repeat? Tanya replaces her stone in the basin. Construction of this architectural marvel would represent the pinnacle of a Draenei, of Draenei artificing. The Vindakar would look like a child's toy compared to what we would make together. Should have my word. Perhaps we can chat later. Interesting. Okay. We welcome your help. The Eredar have lived shattered for too long. Today, let us be reunited in hope and faith. I see the future as a grand corridor full of sunlight. May we walk it side by side. May I dig your memory stone to the flame of repeat? Well, there you, go. you are the instrument of change. Atun. It has been a long time since I last saw this many Eredar in one place. Perhaps not since Argus was corrupted, when I still served on the Council of the Triumvirate. Velen chose me to be his chief counselor. We knew each other, trusted each other, and the life as distant as Argus is from this place. A tune falls silent, mulling over the past. 
What do you think of the other Kroku? It is uncomfortable to know that Kroku exists beyond Argus. On this Dreno that Nobundo spoke of. And it is unsurprising to hear that Velen turned a blind eye to their mistreatment all these years, despite claiming that they would be protected. But inviting them to the Tishamat is something. It is more than words, at least. So where's Nabundo? <laughs> May I take your memory stone to the flame retrieve? Atun thrusts the stone into the basin. Take it away. Stay a while and listen. Okay. You wanted to speak with me, villain? Yes, of course. On a matter of great importance. Well, is it not always a matter of great importance with you? I suppose it is. But on this auspicious occasion, I was hoping we could reconcile and return to a place of trust. Some wounds take time to heal, Prophet. No, Argus is far from this place and feels like another life. We trusted one another once. <laughs> we were young and foolish once as well. <sighs> we were indeed. If we knew then what we know now. Hatun, you have always been the best of us. I have missed your wisdom. Come. Serve with me again as you once did on our council. We need... I need... your guidance once more. Well, I... You do not have to answer me now. Enjoy the Tishamat. But there will always be a seat open for you. If you want it. Thank you. I will... I will think on it. Not all who wander are lost. Many depend on you. If I was Nabundo, where would I be? I don't even know if he's one you could talk to, so... We're not leaving until we find Nabundo. At the party. <laughs> Okay, so it's safe. I don't want to talk to the last yes? one. Yes? What is it? I am thankful for the Vindicator's presence. Okay, we've read this one before. May I take your memory stone? That's all places stone in the basement. I could carve an entire mountain and still fall short of all I must write. But this is something. Every day must be something. For thousands of years, we hunted our own people. It may take that time and more to be redeemed. Boros places his stone in the basin. I have helped see the Draenei through many beginnings. But this one feels different. Nothing feels as though it is ending, only blending into the dawn. Remain vigilant. Okay.
Don't make me write a macro to find Nobundo. Because I will. I don't think I spoke to this spell caller Galuda before. Hello, stranger. Okay then. <laughs> My path is a dark and cursed one, Hunter. Do not wish to walk with me. You'll come back. Someday. It's a warlock trainer. Okay, so Nobundo has to be around here somewhere. Yes. Be on your way. Are you with the penitents? I have spoken with Arzal. We shared the same vision, if not all the same motivations. If he needs my blade, he has it. Make it so. Hey, Velzun. I didn't even see about okay, I'm with Melodar, but oh no. There's Melodar, okay. Oh, these are the spirits, of course, who are attending. Nabundo! He's one of the ones I got the stone from. I knew it. He didn't fail me. I obviously didn't go up here earlier. Uh... <laughs> You bring news? Thank you for helping me bring these spirits to Tishamad. Well, uh, one of the hardest parts of being Okunai is knowing that you cannot save every soul. But for the ones you can, it makes all the difference to them, and that is enough. Mano Ekta, my friend. I'll speak to you in a second. I can hear the souls of the dead. We brought these spirits to the Tishimat so that the so that the sacrament may help relieve them of the burdens and allow them to fully truly to truly rest. But I did not expect that they might help ease the burdens of others as well. I believe this will truly make a difference for them, both the living and the dead. Thank you for helping me make this possible making this a possibility. Never hesitate to do what is right. Talk to you in a second. Old friends, newcomers, welcome. May the light guide you in all things. Good fortune. How can I help? Come on. I'd almost forgotten Kelios. So darkened are my memories of that distant past, so narrowed. But he speaks of Karabor's beauty as if he looked upon it only yesterday. And for a moment I can almost see it. Karabor, if you don't know. At least in Outland. It's still this in, uh... Warlord Drainer. Um... Karabor's Black Temple. Ah. Uh, what do you think of the penitents? The loyalties of demons are fleeting. Sometimes they can be useful. I have known some demons to serve the Ladari, fighting against their former Legion masters. I'm not surprised that some Minari would also turn on the hand that fed them. Watch them closely. I want to talk about something else.
What do you think of Hatun? I respect anyone with that much demon blood on their hands. Hatun knows as well as I do it is to, what it is to live amidst the ashes of your home. To see it defiled, where you are powerless to stop it, is a feeling you do not forget. I trust us both to never let it happen again. Okay. May you take your memory stone to the flame of Ripley? No place is stone in the basement. I have suffered much in my wandering. Perhaps it is time to return. Roma hit Corta. Kama, what are you doing, my friend? Alright. Talk to you, right? Come, speak with me. Never back down. Nabundo. I am listening. It is comforting to know that the Oka and I are once again caring for the spirits of our fallen. Lao here was once my commander in death. He is still a dear friend. I will treasure this brief moment with him. What do you think of Hatun? Ah, I spoke to him earlier. Before you accompanied him to Blood Mist, he speaks what's on his mind and does not tolerate disrespect. It's refreshing. With his voice added to yours, I believe we can hold the Prophet to his promises. This new city will not be a home if, to all if it is not a home to the Kroku in equal measure. I want to speak of something else. May I take your memory stone to the Flame of Ripley? The moon places the stone in the basin. We will never, must never, give up. The future will bring us precisely what we need if only we open our arms to allow it. The window, my friends. With faith, there is a way. I don't think there's anything up here, but I thought I'd run through here and check. Um, I have two more to find. Live another day. Okay, yeah. It's what you are there. to you. We are the eyes of the prophet. I almost refused to come. I have lived in Terracar since. What happened? It's not a perfect situation, but after a time I became comfortable, stable, solitary. After what my Rangari and I allowed to happen, I could not return to living among those I had failed. But perhaps the Tish Tishamat is the correct time to confront that guilt. Nail places her stone in the basin. The solitude of the past decides. De the solitude of the past decades has been crushing and self imposed. 
Thank you for helping to make Tishamat happen once more. We needed it. I needed it. Fight on your own terms. Well, I didn't even see it the last time I came around here. Make me really travel to get this. Oh, okay, over here. Good fortune. We spoke to her earlier. Quest may I take your memory stone to the flame of reprieve. If Shanna place her stone in the basin. Through the light, all pains are softened, all sorrows lessened. We will never forget the bite that left the scar, but we can mask the memory of its sting. Seek the path of the light. Well, that's the flame of reprieve right there. Okay. Um. Oh. Are you ready to create your memory stone? It's been some time since the last Tishamat. I've been advising celebrants on the ritual. First, you must inscribe your name near the top of the stone. Oh no, decision time! What would she put? I don't know. I think this might be a case of... Joala. Just plain old. And below that, inscribe a description of the memory whose burden you wish to be relieved of. We must remember the lessons of the past, but those memories need not weigh down on us eternally. We are stooped under the burdens of regret, of pain, of guilt. We can make no progress. Write nothing. Memory you want to be relieved of. My old home. Someone once close to me, a treasured item, a lost chance, a terrible decision I made, something I couldn't control, a moment of time gone too soon. Why are giving me so many existential crises lately? Um, Drew. Something I couldn't control. When you are ready, 
Toss the stones into the flame of reprieve. Feel their weight lift from your soul as they burn. Tell the Prophet our burdens have been lifted and this ceremony can begin! Light bless you. The Jainai have suffered, scattered in solitaire for too long. Today we allow ourselves to rely on each other. Antion Akor Kora. I do get a I do get a hollow gem. Returns you to Veld. Oh, it's just a heartstone. <laughs> it's a regular heartstone. I think it would be nice if it gave you a little Exodar. Or like give you an option between different like Exodar or Shathrath or uh, the Vindicar. Um or well no. Clearly we're not dealing with Warlords of Drain or Draenei on the, in this our path forward ah, I believe I hear the prophet calling the attendants before the stage I'm curious to see what he and Ramu would plan to announce now that everybody is gathered we should make haste yes speak to prophet Velen to begin the ceremony you will get your your ensemble um flight stones and a toy may they learn Draenei, please lend us your attention. The ceremony will begin shortly. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming, Valen. I'm coming. Something is amiss on this world. Quest. This is a great moment for the Draenei. Quest. Please begin the ceremony. For many, this may be your first Tishamat. Our last was long ago. Few among us remember it. But even here, in another place and another time, its meaning remains the same. We must let go of the past to grasp our future. No longer must we live scattered, lamenting Argus. We will build a city on the ashes of our exile. We will finally be home. So wait, where are they building Shafroth? Okay, well I will use the new I will use the new Hearthstone to, to get to get back to Veldraken at the end of this. Without faith, the battle is lost. Oh, okay. I will lead my people through any darkness. Today marks the beginning of a new age for the Eridor. We are one people united in purpose. And we will never be broken apart again. Good to hear him actually refer to them collectively as the Eridor. Um, complete quest. You are. This moment could not have happened without you, champion. By your hand, the Legion was broken. Our long journey ended. And our people reforged as one. In gratitude, we bestow on you as a paragon of our people. A sacred vestiment, crafted of precious materials from Argus. Atar Vahishana, Matirim Ita. 
Beneath the eternal stars, we walk together. Not all who wander are lost. Exactly. Be just. Okay, so our... We get our vestments. And we get our toy. Let's check out our vestments. people complained about this but I think I think the set's cool I think it's a cool set I don't know if she wear it I kind of like she has the racing silks on now it's the um I believe this is the Outland set but um purple oh wait orange comes in two flavors I very I wouldn't wear helmets anyway. It's kind of weird that her horns disappear if she wears it, but I do like that it comes in two colors. It might even allow you to mix it somewhat. But I like it. I like it. I know the, I know those complaints. I would leave the helm off. I like what she's got on now though. So I probably won't be changing it. Um, the t so that I believe is it. Um, I believe that's it. Bellin has nothing else to save to me. I didn't get a title for that. But it's okay. Um, I don't think you... Well, you don't just... I think the Night Elf one went, may have been one of the few you do get a title for. The only one you get a title for. Mm, but yeah. I believe... That's it. So, I guess we'll head back to Valdrek and using our shiny new Hearthstone. Sorry, Una. I thought you'd get something out of this. It did seem appropriate for you. But, it's all good. Yeah, that is a cool effect. <laughs> <laughs>